In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly remove backgrounds with Mask from Trip Plugin. Let's get to it. Here we are in After Effects. I've got this video as the example, and I want to keep the animal and remove everything that is in the background. For this, I'm going to use Mask from Trip Plugin. Let's search for it in Effects and Presets. Then add this to the video layer. Now we need to create a mask around the subject that we want to select. But first, let's move the time indicator to the start of the video to the very first frame. Then select the rectangle tool or any other tool, make sure video layer is highlighted, then go ahead and create the mask, and make sure you leave some space between the edges of the mask and the subject that you want to select. Then let's switch back to the selection tool, and go into the effect controls panel, then under the boxes set the first path to mask 1, then after a few seconds you should see this white overlay added to the subject that you are selecting. At this point, if the subject that you are selecting is moving throughout the video, you want to make sure that the mask stays on top of it throughout the duration. And for this, you can simply open mask settings, create a keyframe for mask path at the start, then go forward one second at a time and see where the mask is. If it needs some adjustment, you can drag on any of the points and readjust the mask. In my case, there's minimal amount of movement, so there's no need to do that. But again, go one second forward, see where the mask is, then again, one second forward. But if I move to four seconds, you can see that the subject is no longer inside of the mask, but it still gets selected based on the entire selection that we have. But you can help it out by moving this point to the right. And after you've made sure that the mask stays on top of the subject, we can go back to the effect controls panel. And here I'm going to set the edge enhancement to medium or high. That will smoothen out the edges by adding slight blur to them. And if we set output to on transparent, and now you can see that the background is gone and the only thing we're left with is the selection. So if I enable transparency grid, you can see the composition is completely transparent now. And from this point on, we can do cool stuff like add text behind an object. So if I select this video layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, then select the bottom video layer, remove mask prompter from it. Also press M on the keyboard and remove the mask. And then we are back to original video. But if we select the text tool, click and type something, and then if I place this text layer in between the vid two video layers, and then I scale the text up, you can see now we can place the text behind an object, and it doesn't have to be text, you can do anything you want, it can be logo, video, anything. Or we can easily highlight the selection, so if I remove the text, and if we open effects and presets and search for fill effect, then drag and drop this to the top video layer where we have the mask prompter. Now you can see our subject is covered in this red fill, but in effect controls, if we set opacity to something like 30%, now our red is somewhat transparent and we can see the subject through it, but we are clearly highlighting it with a red color. It doesn't have to be red, by the way, you can choose any other color you want. You could also go one step further and add an extra layer of stroke around the subject. So if we search for paint bucket, add this to the same video layer under the fill, then set stroke to stroke, and now we have this stroke outline which you can control, some like stroke width, make it thicker, change the color and stuff like that. And now we have a nicely highlighted object in a single video layer. So that is it for this one, thank you guys for watching.